Perseverance is action derived from a pure belief in your own strength, even in what seems like total defeat. Just like Pat and my father, I struggled with alcohol. I've stepped close to the edge, lured by the deceitful whispers of the devil who promises that ending it all will bring comfort. My redemption has been a powerful self-realization that my identity is not found in my circumstances or in what happens to me. I am strong. I am my own will made manifest in the world. As you grow in self-awareness, your understanding of your strengths becomes more precise. Be intentional. Take the time to explore your passions and figure out which strengths you most want to cultivate. I don't want you to settle for the role of consumer in this world. I urge you to master the necessary skills to contribute in a meaningful fashion, to use those skills to make a difference in your own life and the lives of others. It's far too easy to fall into the trap of working a job you hate and living for the weekend. Find a way of breaking out of that paradigm. Don't be afraid of trying hard. Don't be afraid of failing or looking like an idiot. There are no prizes for being cool and collected, but achieving nothing of value. Leave your mark on the world. You don't need to be good at something before you try it, but you must be resolute in your efforts when you choose to master something. Mediocrity is the ugly, fatal disease of wasted potential and eternal regret. In the words of Dante Alighieri, And I, my head oppressed by horror, said, Master, what is that I hear? Who are these people so defeated by their pain? And he to me. This miserable way is taken by the sorry souls of those who lived without disgrace and without praise. They now commingle with the coward angels, the company of those who were not rebels, nor faithful to their God, but stood apart. The heavens, that their beauty not be lessened, have cast them out. Nor will deep hell receive them. Even the wicked cannot glory in them. In practice and in heart, I regularly repeat these four words. There is always more. Perfection is not our destination. Instead, we follow the never-ending trail of joy and tears, knowing full well that it has no end. The alternative is unacceptable. As you persevere and find success, the sweet voice of praise from your own mind and those around you will whisper, you are amazing. You did it. Acknowledge that voice, but don't allow it to seduce you. Instead of dwelling on my successes, I see clearly the areas where I'm still growing and improving. However good you think you are, you can always be better. This is the nature of ceaseless self-improvement. You can always dig a little deeper, work a little harder, and push a little further than before. There is always more.